Hello everyone, this is Ragnar playing the Incredible Machine and let's do the spinball for some reason. I don't remember this thing being in an original game. I'm playing uh, an upgraded version of this game actually. I'm playing the even more Incredible Machine. And I lost my score from last time. This is pretty, pretty sad I gotta say. This is sad. So, generators and motors is where we, we were last time. And we're gonna play it right now. So the goal of this is to make the tennis ball fall in the hole. So first thing that's gonna happen is this guy. Wait a sec, hold the phone. In order to do that, I need that. But that's gonna be plugged to a generator right here. Okay. How to make the generator roll is by doing this. If I plug this in, that means that I'm pretty sure I can plug this in, technically. So that will make the generator roll and this guy roll on this and everything work, basically. There we go! That's how it works. I didn't remember how to do this one, but yeah, the, the puzzles are gonna be much more advanced later on. But we're still in tutorials, so yeah. Uh, I need to make the gears on the screen turn. Okay, this is a solar panel, so I need to shine light on it. First thing that's gonna happen is this lighting up because of this light switch being pressed. Okay, so technically I could make this shine here for a fan to be lit up there. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, 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 I see. I could make the bucket fall to light the switch here. I'm not sure that this is an optimal solution, but whatever. Ba, 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 ba. Love that soundtrack, have I said it in the last episode? So uh, yeah, we're continuing in the veins of uh, trying to do something of our life here. And also buckets. I love this game because of buckets. This is an expression that I've taken from this game, obviously. But yeah, Dale. So, yeah, the game is gonna be much harder later on. By the way, if someone wants to um, calculate my score, uh, because it resets every time I, I do a new episode, but my total score, so I could perhaps beat some records, I don't know, or whatever, just to have my score at the end, because people like giving me scores for some reason. I remember Andrew Bennett did, doing that for uh, my CC1 Chips Challenge original set run. So here, if you pass the light through a mirror, then it will focus and then make the cannon shoot. So that's what you need to do like three times. So those are cannonballs, they're pretty heavy. Pretty heavy material, you don't want to bang that on your head because you're gonna pass out if you, you do so. Don't worry, I've tried, I've tried. I've tested this theory for you guys and it doesn't work really well. You will pass out. All you need to do is fire the cannon and it's still a tutorial. I like the playing with dynamite though, so... This bucket is connected to this lamp. This level is pretty easy, by the way. Just putting that out. So you aligned the... Uh, the, the, the thing there, the mirror thing, and uh, here we go, fire the cannon, and the size is the size of this cannonball, which is huge, I gotta say. Like, imagine a human entering this cannon, well this cannonball is, yeah, pretty much, <laughs> compared to, like a human must enter this cannon and was fit in there, so yeah, perhaps with the, the head, um, only his head sticking out. Uh, okay. First thing that's gonna happen is this dynamite exploding, but I need to, like... Huh, that's pretty intense. Wait a sec. Um... No, no. What needs to happen is this. Lighting up this. I don't know why there's a balloon there, it's gonna be popped anyways. But this shuttle will hit that, thus causing the lamp here 
I don't know what are those called in uh, in English. In French, it's poulie. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna work, but I'm not sure. No, I don't. I didn't hit the lamp. Let's try this again. Hit the lamp. There we go. Bam! I yeah. lit the candle, and uh, we were uh, we were settled in Ireland. There, I know. Uh, I, I, but uh, there, there's not really any clue, but candle was your clue because in every Irish pub there are candles on the wall and they look pretty much like that. Though the walks may or may not be always red, but the background is pretty greenish, though it's more teal. So yeah, there, there wasn't any, to, uh, any clue, obvious clue to tell, to tell that it was gonna be like that. So we need to uh, play with dynamite. So we need to make everything explode again. Pretty great. That's one of my favorite feature of this game. I like making everything explode. So you sell the dynamite there. Um, like it's dynamite. So what's gonna happen here exactly? There. Da, da, da. Um, this. Oh wait, the thing is gonna fall, okay. So that thing is gonna fall through, it's gonna like go... So my assumption is like, by doing this I'm gonna shoot the gun. No, it didn't. So yeah, it's, sometimes it's very picky with how the gun will shoot or not. Like the rope needs to be set in a certain angle. There we go, there we go. There we go, we blew the dynamite, there was a word there, it was written uh, in this brick, but it's all like erased because of the dynamite that blew all of the brick. Oh, we need to get more the mouse, we got introduced to cats running after mouse. So the, the, more ha the, the mouse here is outside of his cage, so it needs to be a... Uh, it needs to go right here, over here. So in order to do that, we need to uh, give him a bit of help there. This cat needs to be there t in order to chase a mouse. And a broken fish bowl will tease the cat there. I don't remember his name though. There we go, we broke the fish bowl. Oh, oh, there the mouse. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. The mouse is safe there. And the mouse wore briefs there. I know that's strange, but man, don't question his ethics. <laughs> I mean, it's his right. It's his right to wear briefs. Like, obviously, the cats don't wear briefs there. We don't see that. But here we can see a, a little, like, blue thing. I, I guess that's the briefs. I don't know. I'm not here to judge anything. Both monkeys need to ride a bicycle in order to do that. You need to do the classic joke of putting a fish, a, a, a banana, at the end of a of a fishing rod. So they're like, "Oh, if I if I bike forward, I'm gonna catch this banana." But oh, oh the banana goes at the same speed as me. What the hell am I going to do? <laughs> exactly. So, in order to do that, we need a shuttle here. That thing is gonna like bong the head of this guy, so I uh, is gonna go like <laughs> like a city person, and uh, this thing pretty much settles the score. Like this needs to be tied to the cage, and this will pull the little curtain thing. There we go. And we pull the curtain and both ride the bicycles. And there was a hot dog. Uh, installed. Where, where could that have been? Oh, it was a fake banana and hiding a hot dog inside. Oh, that's. I see what you did there, game. The basketball must cross all the gaps. To solve the puzzle, they tell you how, because I think it's still a, tur a tutorial, but I don't need no tutorial here. So, what you need to do basically is shorten this guy because I don't know why it was put this way, anyways. Uh, this guy must like pull this guy so that it allows it to pass afterwards. That's how you do it. 
And there was a countdown, it was hidden a bonus thing. And I got 421, I'm sure it's meaningful for some reason. Oh man! Okay, now, a uh, still a tutorial, okay. I need to climb a hill there. Oh, the cat is called Pokey, that's pretty funny actually. In order to do that, it's pretty simple. I don't think you need instruction booklets or anything to do that. No, I got instruction booklets to come with this. And I, I love the, the green eye there, it's pretty funny. And there was a psalm. There was a psalm written about that. It told exactly this Thou shalt not insult a cat. For it will always slash you in your sleep, in revenge. Because cats are relentless. They do not listen to the commandments that would prove them to be by thy gods. So it was an ancient, um, an ancient book that was long lost, way before the ancient testament. Anyways, we advance to the first legit puzzle of this game. So we left the tutorial there. I'm gonna clear that one and then call it a video. So turn, 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 pop, pop, pop. We need to pop three of the four balloons here. So, let's analyze what's gonna happen here. I can make this turn, technically. So if I tie something here, that will work, that will work as well. So if this is popped, that means this will pull this, so I can easily tie this and pop like the three balloons. There we go. So, if you want to see the replay by the way, there was a tank hidden somewhere in this level, try to find it in slow motion, uh, I'll pause the video. You will find it. We will play the solution. There it pops, so freeing the the, net, the balloon from the rope, thus f flying upwards and then clearing the level. I know that's great. And those are um, remains of the popped balloon. And I like the ma animation there for the popping balloon. That's pretty great. Anyways, this is right at sign out second episode. It went pretty well. Five, four, six, four. I always want to add up the scores from every episode and have me a total score at the end of the game. Feel free to do so, cause I'm not gonna do it. Oh, ho, ho. see you soon, guys. I love you. I'm signing up. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop.